Yeah. You see them bad boy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me hear. When this cool down, I just do something around here. So, oh, oh, what okay. care? Yeah, man. The people don't like that. They make a bamboo thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Sometime yesterday in the afternoon we received a report that two females were washed away in the river. They are living in the Job's Hill community uh, that is miles away from the Castan police area. However, this morning about 6.30 about a team of persons from the communities, Job's Hill, Providence, persons from the Castan area went out in search of these girls, we were able to recover the body of Kiwana Ricketts uh, in the Providence area. That's just an adjoining community, uh, Castleton. However, we continue the search for the body of Alike, and um, we are hoping that we'll be able to find her body before the day is closed. Any challenge with the search? Well, yes, uh, earlier on we had reports that the body of this smelly, that's Aliki, was found in the Catholic area. Uh, we all uh, stopped our search in the Jobsil area and went uh, to find that body. But whoever, uh, when we got there, there was you know, no body. In essence, we received a prank call. Uh, so we are back on the trail and covering miles of, of, of the river. So we are still hoping for the wish. What about the terrain? The, the, the terrain did that pose any challenge? It was very hard to maneuver, especially because the waters are still heavy and um, we have to be using skills to maneuver the, the terrain. Uh, the water was very heavy. I realize the JCF along with the Jamaica Defense Force were involved in the search. Definitely so. And uh, you know we are happy to have the JDF on board and when I reach out to them it was a yes um, right away and from ever since they have been traveling the, the streams with us and we are very appreciative of that. We have also um, asked for the assistance of the Marine Police and they are also giving us some coverage out on the seaside um, because the truth is that once um, we have an incident of uh, persons being washed away in the Wagwata River then they are you know more likely will find themselves out to the mouth of the Wagwata River which is both at the Anatoly Hill. Can you tell us though what led to these girls being washed away? What, what happened? Can you tell us? You know? Well, uh, what we're receiving from the parents is that they went to the river to wash clothes and the mother, she was in the process of hanging up clothes at home and was about to go back to the river to find, to, you know, to bring more clothes on the river. However, both children were at the river. One slipped and the other one was trying to assist uh, when she also lost her balance and both of them were washed away. Any idea as to how far away the mother when to hang up this, this clothes? No, we're not sure exactly, but we are, we are, our information is suggesting that the river runs behind the mother's house. Has this search been called off? No, we have not called off the search as yet. Um, persons are taking water break and um, we'll be back on, on the search. So if there is a case where you do not find the body today, will, they, will you guys search tomorrow Definitely. again? We will not stop until the body of young smelling recovery.